10 Places to Visit in Istanbul, Turkey Istanbul is a city that wears its cultures and history well, blending them into an exciting city that has much to offer travelers from around the world. Founded during Neolithic times, Istanbul today is a modern city that remains true to its historic heritage through its Byzantine monuments and ancient bazaars. Aside from standout tourist attractions in Istanbul, such as Topkebi Palace, Hagia Sophia, and the Blue Mosque, there are also busy bazaars, atmospheric old neighborhoods, and thriving dining and nightlife scenes to delve into. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Here are 10 best places to visit in Istanbul. Number 10. Grand Bazaar Travelers who love to shop shouldn't miss out on a visit to the Grand Bazaar, with 5,000 shops making it one of the largest indoor marketplaces in the world. Receiving more than a quarter million visitors a day, the bazaar features such items as jewelry, carpets that may or may not fly, spices, antiques, and hand-painted ceramics. The bazaar dates back to 1461, and today is home to two mosques, four fountains, two hammams or steam baths, and the Sevahir Badesan, where the rarest and most valuable items have been found traditionally. Here is where shoppers will find old coins, jewelry with precious gems, inlaid weapons, and antique furniture. Number 9. Kiz Kulisi. Occupying a small islet at the southern entrance to the Bosphorus Strait, the ancient watchtower of Kiz Kulisi makes for a striking sight. Meeting the Maiden's Tower in Turkish, it has an observation deck and restaurant that offer fantastic views over Istanbul. Remarkably enough, a tower has stood on the isle for almost 2,500 years with everyone from the Athenians and Romans to the Byzantines and Ottomans having erected one. Over the centuries and millennia, it has acted as a watchtower, lighthouse, and quarantine station, and has even featured in numerous films such as Hitman and The World Is Not Enough. Number 8. The Lada Bridge Spanning the breadth of the Golden Horn, the Lada Bridge is one of Istanbul's most loved landmarks, having featured in countless plays and poems, paintings and novels over the years. The fifth bridge to stand in the same spot, it connects the city center to the site of the Imperial Palace and other important institutions, such as Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Lined by fishermen, the bridge offers up delightful views over the surrounding waters with shops, restaurants, and Narjile cafes to be found beneath it. With seagulls shrieking overhead, boats passing below, and the spires of mosques to be spied atop of the surrounding hills, Galata Bridge really is an atmospheric place to visit and is very lively at almost all times of the day. Number 7. Taksim Square the heart of modern Istanbul, the large and lively Taksim Square lies right in the center of the city, surrounded by countless shops and restaurants, hotels, and historic sites. Not only a popular tourist attraction and major transportation hub, it hosts lots of public events with everything from parades to protests taking place. Besides being home to one of the only remaining green spaces in the area, it also encompasses the impressive Republic Monument with the massive, majestic, and modern Taksim Mosque rising up behind it. In addition to its innumerable establishments, Taksim borders the multi-purpose Atatürk Cultural Center, which hosts operas, plays, and concerts, while a charming heritage tram line also meanders its way through the square. Number 6. Basilica Cistern the Basilica Cistern has been providing Istanbul residents with water since the 6th century when it was ordered built by the Roman Emperor Justinian I. A visit leads travelers raving about the technology the ancient Romans used to build this architectural wonder that was very advanced for its day. The underground cistern, just a few steps away from the Blue Mosque, was built on the site of a basilica that was constructed in the 3rd century. Known as the Sunken Palace, the cistern can hold up to 2.8 million cubic feet of water. The cistern is one of the locations used in From Russia with Love, a James Bond thriller filmed in 1963. Number 5. 
Dalmaba K Palace. Luxurious, lush, and beautiful are just some of the adjectives used to describe the Dalmabake Palace, which has been compared to the Palace of Versailles. Built in the 19th century using 14 tons of gold leaf, Turkey's most glamorous palace blends traditional Ottoman architecture with the European styles of neoclassical, Baroque, and Rococo. Home to six sultans from 1856 to 1924, it also is home to the world's largest bohemian crystal chandelier, a gift from Queen Victoria. The Dalmabake Palace's setting is stunning. It was built along the Bosphorus coastline. Number 4. Suleymaniye Mosque Visitors to the Suleymaniye Mosque say its beauty and peacefulness gives them an inspiring sense of spirituality. Located on the third hill of Istanbul, the mosque was ordered built in 1550 by the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The mosque, indeed, is magnificent, blending the best of Islamic and Byzantine architecture. The mosque was extensively damaged over the years, including during World War I, when a fire broke out while the gardens were used as a weapons depot. It was restored in the mid-20th century. The mosque is marked by four minarets indicating it was built by a sultan. When it was built, the dome was the highest in the Ottoman Empire. Number 3. Topkapi Palace Topkapi Palace is one of the must-see attractions in Istanbul that combines history and stunning scenery in an experience that is not to be rushed. For almost four centuries, the opulent Topkapi Palace served as the official residence of the sultans who ruled the Ottoman Empire. It is one of the world's largest extant palace. Sultan Mehmed II started work on the palace shortly after the conquest of Constantinople in 1453 and lived here until his death in 1481. In 1924, the palace became a museum that exhibits an extensive collection of art, porcelain, jewelry, manuscripts, and other treasures of the Ottoman Empire. Important artifacts include the jewel-encrusted Topkapi dagger and the 86 carat Spoonmaker's diamond. The palace is also home to venerated Islamic relics, including the Prophet Muhammad's sword and cloak. Most of the stunning complex is open to the public. The Ottoman palace has four primary courtyards and several outbuildings, known as the Janissaries Court. Number 2. Blue Mosque the Blue Mosque, built in the early 17th century, remains an active house of worship today. This means visitors need to time their visits carefully, as the mosque is closed to sightseers during the five daily prayer times for Muslims. All visitors must remove their shoes and women must cover their hair. This is a small price to pay for seeing its priceless treasures that include 20,000 ceramic tiles in various tulip designs and 200 stained glass windows, all with intricate designs. The mosque, built by Sultan Ahmet, takes its name from the blue tiles on the dome and the upper levels of the interior. Number 1. Hagia Sophia The Hagia Sophia is a masterwork of Roman engineering, with its massive dome, 102 feet or 31 meters in diameter, that covers what was for over 1,000 years the largest enclosed space in the world. Hagia Sophia is the Greek term for holy wisdom and refers to Jesus Christ, the Holy Trinity's second person. Constructed between 532 and 537 on the orders of the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, the structure was an Eastern Orthodox cathedral until 1453 except for about 60 years in the 1200s when it served as a Roman Catholic cathedral. In 1453, Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople and converted the edifice into a mosque, removing or plastering over many Christian relics and replacing them with Islamic features. The building closed in 1931, and the Republic of Turkey reopened it as a museum in 1935. Visitors can go through the imperial gate to the central nave and look up to see the dome's majestic interior with its mosaic-covered ceiling. Marble on the walls in the main nave extends to the gallery's upper reaches, and the inner narthex and side naves have walls entirely covered with marble. 
The costly marbles of many different colors, selected exclusively for the Hagia Sophia, came from various areas of the empire. In the Hagia Sophia courtyard is a fountain of purification with a Greek inscription in palindrome form that translates, wash your sin not only your face. Built in 1739, the Hagia Sophia library contains ancient Turkish tiles, and the engraved, wooden bookshelves hold historical objects as well as books. Through the years, the church suffered damage from earthquakes, fires, and riots, making many repairs and restorations necessary, but it remains a beautiful building that some people call the world's eighth wonder. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We will be back with another interesting video soon. Till then, goodbye.